If such noise, advocated for by activists for change for purposes of protest, is sustained in a place with expectant mothers of about 60 days pregnancy, doctors say they may not have healthy babies. You have heard that uh, uh, when you play a good song, even a baby in the time it starts uh, to move about, maybe dancing, so sound can have an effect, especially when it is uh, too heavy for a long time. It has been implicated for birth defects, like uh, uh, spine problems, like uh, um, missing part of, of this area, which we call uh, a cleft lip. The adverse effects of noise could also cause annoyance, especially when it's continuous. With anger also comes stress, and everyone is prone to it. Noise-sensitive people react to and adapt to noise more slowly than less noise-sensitive people. Production of uh, stress hormone can easily lead to high blood pressure, can easily affect the heart when uh, get heart problems, and of course uh, it can distract sleep. Other noise-induced cardiovascular effects include abnormalities in the electrocardiogram, faster pulse rate, and slower recovery of vascular constriction. A person can also become nauseous with a resounding headache, fatigued, get stomach ulcers, and vertigo. These effects can occur when noise is at 85 decibels, the measure of sound levels, yet the recommended level is zero decibel. Indeed, at its highest, noise can cause hearing impairments. I think you have seen uh, people shooting guns, heavy guns, artillery. They first have to uh, block off uh, the ears. Uh, this is because uh, noise can actually impair um, that uh, hearing organ. Among the causes of noise are population increase. At 3.2% per annum, Uganda has one of the highest population growth rates in the world. The country's population is now estimated at 33 million. This means more vehicles and other gadgets which emit noise. Experts say vehicles cause more noise. Indeed, the most susceptible people to noise are those living in areas with road or traffic noise, with sound levels above 70 decibels. Other causes are prolonged exposure to loud music and industrial noise. To avoid the problems that are caused by noise, uh, one has to avoid the noise itself and uh, um, if possible a person should be taken away from the source uh, of the noise or you remove uh, the noise itself. But even when doctors say a person can detach themselves from noise, the reality is that a functioning ear never stops working. The internationally agreed threshold of hearing is zero decibel and it is on this that the decibel measurements for sound are best. Florence Nalimba, NTV. Thank <laughs> you.